Dave Terry, who put on an absolute beatdown on a largemouth bass a couple days ago. But you see, the problem is, I deleted almost all of the files from that day. I mean, I probably deleted about half of them because right, I got Dave. two cameras on my boat. One goes on the console and the other goes on the side of the boat. Get some water action. I got all the water action, but the main files, which I would say goes on top of the boat, I deleted them all. Yeah, no net rule on a hundred So, I got back hey, together with hey. Dave. So the story has really changed from an unbelievable day four days ago. 20 pound sack. I mean, Dave bought two fish that were four and a half pounds for that fish. Maybe it is a fish. It's Dave is hooked up. Hey! Oh! <laughs> yeah, you made the right move to change color. You can just get it. You don't count to get a boat, Dave. Hit it at the boat. Look at that beast. Look at that thing. <laughs> oh, he got her. Got a five pounder. But don't be fooled, Dave was not the only one to catch a few fish. In fact, I caught the first couple of fish. And of course that was on my 9K Elite Lures Chatterbug. You had to get a hold of one of these and there's a promo code in the description to save you some money if you're wise enough to buy it. that might be. Nothing there, sir. What do I always tell you? I'll never hear the end of this. I got a tradition on uh with buzz episodes and that's it I catch the first one. Dave, I think I got a better one now. He feels a little bit better, sir. We ended up having a great one-two punch between this lipless crankbait and my chatterbug. We had yeah, well, we several double. doubles. Well, I don't want to tell you who's got the bigger no. one, Dave. <laughs> I don't want to tell you who's got the bigger one, but I'm pretty sure it's me. You want me to wait so you can show everybody? Oh, yeah. yeah, well, mine is bigger, but it ain't big necessarily. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. That's, that's the way it goes. That's, that's the way it goes. This lipless crankbait, he threw three colors. Tennessee Chef. Fire Tiger and Rayburn Red. Caught fish on all. Get him in here! And countless three pounders. I have no idea, so it was easy to say you got a 20 pound limit. days later same area with the same baits and it's working again uh, and it was fine island with some lily pads growing up just kind of hit the surface there's some other aquatic vegetation underneath submerged and some sand 
but close to a break line. Yes, yeah, it went from probably three foot of water, I don't know what, 15, 20 feet out, then went into probably eight foot of water. It's a good staging area for them to come up and start spawning and feeding. And yeah, just it was an unbelievable day. It's pretty fun to be able to come back here a couple days later and start beating them up again. ratio reel do you use? Oh, what do you got there? <laughs> oh, man, I could have asked at a better time. All right, why don't you go ahead and catch that fish and then we'll... I think I got a, a six to one right now. Six to one? Yeah. Okay. And uh, burning it pretty good. Now, you don't do a typical cast and retrieve, is that right? Well, you want to stay in contact, you know, with the, with the weeds, the, the pad stalks. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's, that's where the fish are at. You're going to get that reaction bite, or, you know, when you hit those things and, and rip it back through. So. Now, that fish is not too big, but for its size, its belly is pretty fat. It tells me, uh, feed. Hey, you eat? Yeah, that's, you know, that's the whole key to a lot of this spring fishing and, and these type of baits. Is... Now, you get a lot of reaction bites? Yeah. And yeah. what does that mean, a reaction bite? Rip it like a, you know, rip it off of a pad stalk or through a weed or you know I some of these have even been hung on a pad stalk. And, and, you know what? Maybe oh, I'll no. join the party here. I hope mine's bigger than yours. Oh, it's bigger. Okay. <laughs> How you doing? Get up. How you doing? Come here, Betsy. There it is. Yeah, just like Dave said, snap that off a of weed and boom. I felt him hit it hard. There you go. Had another. And wind's, and wind's coming in this a different way than it was Saturday. All these fish have kind of moved a little bit. We're actually in uh, the same area, but we went to the other side of that. Actually, what happened, right? Yes. Yeah, the wind's coming in the opposite side. It seemed to be you know, loaded up here. Got him? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one there. Yeah. Phew. He hit that one close to the boat. Got him? Yeah. yeah. Near three pounder in the boat. Now this lake you've taken me to, the quality of fish is better virtually anywhere else we go. What, what's so unique about this lake that's got um, the quality so good? It doesn't get a lot of pressure, you know, for one. Uh -huh. I think that has a lot to do with it. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't have shad in it, you know. It, a lot of these lakes around here, if they had shad, I think they would even, you know, flourish more than what they have. Yeah. But, but definitely it's, it's Stained water, well, but fertile water, I'd call it. It's called my color water. I, I don't, you know, my I, color I, yeah, water. I like that stained water. Um, you know, I, my color. I hate water. real clear water. Hashtag it, my color water. <laughs> What's your favorite color water to fish? Put it in the comments. You got going there? No. Little as he is, he's got the whole thing. Is not. Why you gotta be like that? You write me off that quickly. <laughs> a good one. Nope, ain't he good? He's not small, Dave. Well, not big. <laughs> got him. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that fish got pretty color to it. Well, I appreciate Dave taking two trips out in the last couple of days. 
uh, this ding dong can figure out how not to uh, you, just mess with you just can't get enough of him. I can't get enough of him. I mean, who, who can resist this no. man here? <laughs> oh, my goodness sakes. So, real quick for everyone watching, Dave, a novice to pre spawn fishing. Let's face it, there's a lot of people who don't have any confidence fishing when the water temperature is low to 50 degrees or less. And in between the two days, it was 51 on Saturday, as you said, and 54 today. Mm -hmm. So it has gone up a little bit. Uh, anyhow, what advice would you give them? Why are you doing that? I'm going to catch one for this jig, too. So go ahead, go ahead and tell them. Uh, same, I mean, we fished the wind today. You know, the fish were kind of pulled up in different areas according to the wind today. Yeah. The wind was the opposite direction Saturday. They were pulled up in a little different area. I mean, the, the wind, you know, really plays a lot in it. It's, you know. it's your big. It's a big friend of yours in the springtime, it correct? Is, it is. Um, so if you're pre-spawn and you don't know where to go, you're new to a body of water, yeah, would you say fish, go to the windy side? Fish, fish the windy side, yeah. yeah. And don't be afraid to get shallow, especially. No, no. And, and those fish will chase, you know. It, it's just a reaction, you know. They're, and they're there to feed, too, you know, to get ready for the spawn. So Increase their calorie intake. Okay. Well, we've caught fish on... Uh, rattle traps that you've seen, lipless crankbaits, a whole bunch. And we caught some fish on uh, bladed jigs as well. I, of course, I like that 9K Elite Lewis Chad buggy. And there's a promo code in the description. In fact, there's links to all the baits that we're using in the description. And so you just click on those if you're interested. Uh, you're not going to make any money from me, but you can check. Uh, we have links for those. So cover, lots of water. Cover water, cover water, cover water. Uh, stay shallow. You know Dave's got trolling motor going full time pretty much making lots and lots of casts. There's not so much of a soaking up one area as it is just covering one area very thoroughly, making multiple casts, different angles. That's right. That's right. Well, yeah. if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button, click notifications. And unless you have some great wisdom. Hope you enjoy the video. No, oh, hey, man, I enjoyed being a part of it twice. <laughs> I just made that whole thing up. I didn't really lose any footage. I just wanted to fish a day again. <laughs> no, boy, I wish I had that footage. But, hey, anyway, I think we still have you some awesome, we had some awesome fish catches on Saturday and today. Till the next time, we will see you on the water. All right, Dave, here comes big fish right now. Yeah, that's that's nice. Uh -huh. Very nice.